Well, good morning. This week's Monday Meditation, we're just going to read three verses this morning. Uh, we're going to be reading verses 1 through 3 from Psalm 98, and I trust that it will be an encouragement to you as you begin your week. And once again, here in the month of January, uh, as we begin a new year together, I'm reading selected passages of Scripture that speak to uh, something new, whether it's new life in Christ or as you'll see this morning, we're going to read about singing a new song. So, Psalm 98, verses 1 through 3. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his righteousness in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. And so ultimately the psalmist is saying we should sing to the Lord a new psalm because of the salvation that he has brought forth, that he has done marvelous things. And how true it is that our God has done marvelous things. Uh, the most marvelous and amazing thing that he has done is sending his son to die on a cross for our sins in our place, being buried and resurrected the third day, and that through faith in Jesus Christ, we can have our sins forgiven. We can be in a right relationship with God. We can walk with him and know him and call upon him for help and mercy and grace. And we have that connection with, with the Lord through Christ and that is the most marvelous thing. And in this psalm, the psalmist, the conditions of the psalmist, what was going on around him, certainly the nation of Israel during this time surrounded by enemies and watching their God sustain them. And when you see God bring you through difficulty and bring about salvation both physically and literally for the nation of Israel's case, and then also spiritually how the Lord has delivered so many of us, when we reflect back upon where we were before God's arm of salvation pulled us out of the pit, that should cause all of us to have a song on our lips and a song in our hearts. Maybe you're saying, uh, Josh, I don't like to sing. Uh, that's fine, uh, but there's a lot of things we might not like to do, but then we kind of just find ourselves doing it. Uh, when we're struck by the joy, we're struck by the the weight of what has happened to us. And that's really what we're talking about. That response. How do you respond in your life? How will you respond this week to the good things that God does for you? Let that response begin with a song in your heart and on your lips. And we do that because the Lord has done marvelous things. Praise his name for the marvelous things he's done in your life, in the past that he'll do this week, and for the marvelous things that he has done ultimately through his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Have a blessed week.